So what's up guys, it's the fake here, so today I'll be doing a video on a uh, integrated graphics card, well not a video but a, a new series on the channel, so it's basically um, like how to improve and um, tweaks and optimizations for people running on uh, integrated graphics cards that wants to game on it, so basically uh, what applies to integrated graphics card and what is it about that is different, so Integrated graphics cards is uh, integrated in the chipset, so basically there's not a physical card. So it's a uh, one that comes with uh, most of the Intel CPUs, and they tend to lack uh, in a gaming performance because there's, there's no physical CPU for the GPU. So today uh, I'm going to show you how to tweak and optimize the integrated graphics cards. Um, so the integrated graphics cards apply to uh, Intel GMA, HD and uh, APUs and so on. So today I'm gonna be using a uh, build, I'm gonna be turning on the uh, integrated graphics and I'm gonna disable the discrete graphics to show you guys the performance and how to tweak it. So um, for this build, um, uh, for the CPU, I'm gonna use a Intel i5-4600 with um, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM uh, running in dual channel mode um, I have a 1 terabyte uh, 5400 RPM uh, hard disk drive so it's just the normal hard disk drive so I, I, I mean it's not a bottleneck to anything so it won't uh, affect performance a lot in that and uh, the chipset um, uh, in the iGPU, the integrated graphics cards that's uh, th that's gonna run on this CPU, is the Intel HD 4600, which um has uh 1852 megabytes of shared video memory. Today we are gonna be mainly focusing on the uh on the optimization and tweaks part. So, uh, anything that you can do with uh in the Windows or any third party software that might improve performance uh, we're gonna do that today and then um, I'm, I'm gonna uh, show you some tweaks on the settings in game I'm gonna do uh, each game separately in a different video uh, to show you guys um, how to uh, what's the best possible settings uh, to have on uh, each game like for example GTA 5 uh, maybe some things that's worth uh, changing so uh, one one main thing to focus on here is that all the tests I'm gonna have a MSI afterburner uh, open to show you guys the CPU and the GPU usage I'm gonna show a FRAPS uh, FPS counter on the bottom so uh, to show you uh, how many FPS that we get in game with the best possible settings and I'm also gonna be recording off screen uh, I, I don't own a uh, capture card uh, for the mo uh, at the moment, so I'm gonna use a off screen. I'm gonna record in off screen with a tripod on the screen. So, um, without further ado, let's get to the video. So, hello and welcome to my desktop. So, um, this is my desktop. Okay. So, um, the first thing you wanna do is you want to right click on your desktop and you want to click graphic properties so basically this is going to open the Intel HD graphics control panel so you want to go to 3D and you want to copy all of these settings here so uh, you want to have application optimal mode enabled multi-sample anti-aliasing turned off and conservative morphological anti-aliasing override application settings and the general settings you want to put it at performance mode um, if you're running on a laptop uh, this might be uh, enabled by battery mode or something like that in the uh, default so you want to put it on performance mode so after that you want to uh, go and to your search which is windows key plus q or on the windows 7 you can just press this button over here and uh, you can just click search so um, the search that you want to find is a adjust screen brightness so as you can see here adjust screen brightness you want to click on it and uh, you may be 
uh, greeted with this menu here so you want to change it to high performance mode so uh, this is gonna improve uh, frame rates and stuff uh, it's, it's, it's a lot compared to the power saver mode or the balance mode that's uh, that's enabled by default so um, my custom plan one uh, is something like high performance so you want to select high performance is something like that so change plan settings this is the normal things this doesn't affect anything so basically you want to have it on high performance mode so I'm having it on my custom plan one because I have uh, CPU uh, optimizations and stuff so I just have it on high performance mode so the third thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to uh, this PC or you can just open the Windows Explorer and you want to right click properties so you'll be greeted with this menu of your system so um, I'm gonna blank out that um, so you want to go to advanced system settings and you want to drag that down uh, you want to click settings here these settings so you may be greeted with this window so you want to click on adjust for best performance so this is gonna disable all the animations and the transitions uh, that will save you a lot of uh, RAM usage and will improve FPS in the long run so uh, with that sorted out um, you uh, the, the last thing you can do here is uh, you want to go to device manager and you want to go to the uh, graphics uh, you want you want to go to the display adapters and you want to make sure this uh, this uh, these drivers are updated to the latest drivers so um, how, how, how do you find out if it's the latest or not so um, if you get a OEM PC or something like from HP or something uh, you, you may have like a HP support assistant there to help you update these graphic drivers so if not um, you can go to Google Chrome or any browser and then you just basically um, type in a you you just basically type in uh, the uh, the integrated graphics that you have, which is our HD. Oh, hold on, HD forty six hundred, and uh, find the drivers on the official Intel website, which is so. Uh, there you go you have it over here so um, that's all for the optimization uh, I'm gonna go into separate videos um, talking about uh, I'm gonna ha help optimize help optimize um, like certain games or something on what settings you should be turning on and turning off so that you get the best experience so uh, doesn't mean turning all the settings down to like the lowest will get the most FPS I mean you will get the best FPS that you can get but then you can turn on some settings that won't affect your FPS or not a lot of FPS by the long run so thanks for watching guys if you want to see more videos like this uh, please leave a comment down below uh, subscribe to the channel leave a like or leave a dislike depends on you so that's all for today. I'm gonna do another video on uh, uh, the PHDGD um, drivers. So basically, these are modded drivers. They're optimized for your integrated graphics cards. As you can see in the low spec gamer, uh, uh, low spec gamer YouTube channel. So thanks for watching again and peace.